Hey, what up, YouTube? This uh, this time I'm gonna show you guys a little, a couple things different. There's gonna be a series of these videos just to sort of help you out and put you on sort of the right track on uh, how I sort of see development in a way. So uh, this one's gonna just be VS Code tricks that will help you out. Um, so we'll hop into a resource. We'll just go into the base real quick, and uh, we'll just go right here for an example. Um, so as you see, there's a lot of stuff, and some things might be the same. So obviously I'm not going to really change anything in this because there's no reason to, but uh, I will show you a couple things. So uh, really it's mainly hotkeys that you need to understand here. So say we didn't call it functions for an example. Uh, if we highlight one, if we do control and then D, it will get the other ones. And if we just keep spamming it, it will get all of them and then you can change them. Um, that's one great thing to know. <clears throat> along with searching so if you have uh say we have a function we'll go into here right <clears throat> and we want to see where create player is connecting to uh we could sort of highlight this so usually it's so we'll copy it control shift and f and then you could paste it in <clears throat> so obviously we'll grab this first one because that's the whole thing um but if we remove some of this and say we just create player right um only if one okay uh, let me find a different one then let me get a different one for an example um let's go into let's go into core real quick and get objects probably good so Control shift f get object and yeah so it'll get everything so we have our in our player data, we have our exports for getting object. Uh, same with all of our JavaScript, uh, TypeScript packages. All that will be in there. And uh, it's fairly easy because then you could sort of see where everything is going. And um, that's really about it. A couple other things I do want to note on is extensions. Um, my extensions are sort of outdated a little bit, but uh, we can go to them. Um, I suggest most people actually end up using um, the 5M extensions, 5M. So if you search 5M, uh, you'll get 5M Lua here and then 5M Natives. Both of these are really good. Uh, if you code directly Lua, just honestly get this one, does its job. Um, 5M Natives is also good. But uh, yeah, a lot. I mean, just make sure you look at some of these because some of them are more dated than others but uh yeah these are really good to understand we also have some changes in the discord that i am going to show you guys in this video as it's these videos are going to be like five five seven minutes long so uh, basically we're already done at this point with this but i am going to show you guys some discord changes that has happened so we'll hop into my discord right so this faq all these videos will be in here plus some more information for you guys um and then we actually have our support channel now like this, uh, where people are going to make threads. So everything's sort of even out. To create a thread, you just go up here and then click create. Um, that way, we'll see a thread pop up. We can click into it. And like these examples, it tells you what to do, post your issue, post your screenshots, everything like that. And then we will go and help. But other than that, this is just part I'd say part one of the video. Uh, next video is going to be bugs, so prepare for that.